Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy, The Wolf of Crypto, here bringing you guys another video today. Uh, a little more so of an update video here on Radium and Orca. Uh, I have been seeing you guys' comments as far as, you know, how to avoid permanent loss. Uh, I'll be obviously talking about that a little bit today here. And the reason why I want to do an update right now is because if you guys have been following the market, obviously you guys have known the market has pretty much taken a pretty big dip. Everything pretty much is on sale. A lot of discounts going on. And <clears throat> for me personally, this is normally when I like to uh, actually add more into my liquidity pools because I figure if I could go ahead and get this particular coin discounted right now, add in at these low prices that way as we're going up i can kind of adjust from there um so first we're going to start with radio let's go down to the pool right here let's find it first so yeah so we got polis and atlas um i actually am looking to add another um particular uh liquidity pool in this particular farm as well now I did notice here, um, if I'm not mistaken, Polis and Atlas USDC liquidity pair, I believe that might be new. Um, I don't remember seeing that beforehand, but maybe I might have passed it. But as far as a permanent loss on this particular example with Radium and Polis, since you know each crypto in this pair is a cryptocurrency, um, as far as like trying to avoid a permanent loss, for me, I mean, Personally, I'm looking at these farms as far as a kind of a long-term type of hold. The way I'm trying to avoid the like, permanent loss is basically when I'm adding more liquidity into these pools, I try to add liquidity when the particular token is down. So for example, right now, let's go ahead and bring up Polis. So we'll switch over to CoinMarketCap. So right now, Polis is at what? $6.65. Look at the last, what, three months or so. This right here is a good indicator, basically tell me, hey, these are the times where you wanna go ahead and add into your liquidity pools, why? Because these are times where it dips. These are times where the coin itself is on sale. It's, you know, like I said, compared to when, obviously when we had those highs, that's when I particularly like to either try to harvest Maybe take some of my, you know, radium out as far as like, or I shouldn't say radium, but my pull is out. I might switch over to USDC. I mean, to be honest, guys, it really depends on your personal preferences, what you guys are, you know, looking to accomplish. Um, because if we pull up the actual token radium here, let's pull up radium. So we look at radium, it's at $7.21. Let's look at the last three months. I mean, again, when we had highs of like twelve dollars, those are the times where I would either try to take some out, but perhaps you know um, harvest around that time. Again, you can always take some of these profits out, go all over to Solin, start adding that to your USDC supply. But yeah, guys, as far as like trying to avoid a permanent loss, like in all. It's going to be a little bit tough when you have two pairs that are cryptocurrencies. Now, if we switch on over to Orca, as far as my pairs on here, liquidity pool pairs, Atlas and USDC. So on this side, permanent loss is a little bit easier to really avoid because all I'm really worrying about is one pair. And that pair would be Atlas and Pulse, which is obviously the cryptocurrency. The USDC side, I mean, I don't really got to worry about that. Why? Because obviously it's a stable coin, right? Um, but for me, like I said, it's still, uh, same, same strategy, uh, as far as, I mean, look at Samo, even Samo on here, uh, Samo USDC, all I gotta worry about is the Samo particular, uh, token, like as far as the dips and all that. And I think, I think right now Samo's at like four cents. So I was thinking about even buying some more Samo right now, but avoiding permanent loss. Again, it depends on what liquidity pairs you guys are using. Um, because there's so many different pairs out there. Obviously, yeah, with we're using crypto to crypto pair. Yeah, you might have to, you know, watch the market a little bit more just for the fact that if you feel like you don't want to lose too much money, um, 
depending on your entry price, yeah, you might have to come in there and might have to shake some things up. Um, it also depends on like how long you plan on being in the liquidity pool. Like, like I said, for me, I'm planning on being on these particular pairs for a while. Why? Because I'm obviously waiting for the Star Atlas game to come out because this is going to be just, this is pretty much reinvestments that's going in, back into the game. Um, so that's, like I said, this is my particular strategy. And then also too, I can use some of these profits to obviously build my Solana portfolio as well. But yeah, I'm just attacking those particular questions because I know I've gotten a lot about a permanent loss. That's really my intake as far as how to avoid it. Um, I know there's, I know there's plenty of other ways to probably avoid it for whatever you're looking to do. I mean, the, um, like I said, as far as the liquidity pair you're in, I don't know. Like everybody's liquidity pair is gonna be different. Not everybody's gonna be the same. It just really depends. Like. If you're really trying to be that, I guess, particular on like, you know, losing money, um, maybe liquidity pairs might not be for you, but as far as like avoiding it completely, like hundred percent, this might not be the particular platform where you can, there might be some out there. Obviously I gotta, you know, do some research and stuff like that, but avoiding permanent loss totally, like I said, on these particular platforms, it may or may not be possible. I don't know. I'm not an expert here, guys. Um, like I said, at the end of the day, these are all investments, these are all risks. And again, I'm not a financial advisor. So that's my take on that. But like I said here, since the market has dipped, since these particular token prices are cheap right now, my plan is to obviously add some more liquidity into these particular pools. So obviously, I'll automatically harvest whatever is in here. Um, and again, like I said, with being able to collect the Oaken token, or I should say the Orca token, excuse me, um, depending on, you know, what the price that is. Sometimes I use some of those tokens and go and buy some more Solana, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, everything is on the Solana blockchain, so it's always good just to have a lot of Solana. And then obviously with their particular token, uh, obviously it's good to have. I'm hoping they bring back their staking pool for their actual token as well. Um, but that's going to really wrap it up as far as this particular video goes on this kind of radium and orca, uh, as far as a little update and then, uh, tackling your guys' questions as far as how to avoid a uh, permanent loss. Uh, like I said, that's just my take. Some other people might have another take. Uh, like I said, it all just depends. But if you guys did find this video useful, uh, please leave a thumbs up, share with your friends. Also too, if you guys are new to the channel, Hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell to notify for future videos. And uh, until next time, y'all, this is the Wolf of Crypto. Take care, y'all. Peace.